instead of just using cards to simulate a difference of proportions, we can do it much faster by using computers and computer software, such as the Rossman Chance Applet Collection. So for example, suppose a quarter and nickel were each flipped 20 times, and you see the results in this table below. Now, based on these results, what is the probability that random chance can explain what we're seeing? So, start off, what is the difference in proportions of heads uh, between the quarter and the nickel? So, for the quarter, there were 12 heads out of 20. For the nickel, there were 9 heads out of 20. So, the difference in proportions would be 12 out of 20 minus 9 out of 20 would be 3 out of 20, or 15%. Now, how can we design a simulation using cards? Well, we start off again. Look at the overall total. There are 40, uh, so the overall total of coin flips was 40. So I want to start off with 40 cards. I have 20 uh, quarters, 20 nickels, so I can make it 20 red and 20 black. I thoroughly shuffle them, and then I want to draw my row totals. I'll take the smaller one, the 19 tails. So I have those, then I can figure out the others by just subtracting. For example, suppose these are, this is my result from uh, shuffling and drawing 19 cards. And you can see I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 red, so 12 black. So in the table, I put in 7 red, 12 black, and then by subtracting, I see that there were 13 heads for the quarter, 8 heads for the nickel, at least simulated. And that gives my new simulation proportion, difference in proportions, to be 13 out of 20 minus 8 out of 20, or 25%. Now, let's have the computer do this for us, and so we'll have it, uh, the Rossman Chance applet do it a thousand times. You can see, it'll take about a second once we have it set up. So I go to the Rossman Chance Applet Collection. I'll choose Randomization Technical Response. You'll see the link to this right away on the homework and the lesson. I want to set this up so sample data, I want a 2x2 two two table. And this is where I enter the original values from our table, which was 12 heads from the quarter, 9 heads from the nickel, and 8 and 11. So you can see now my totals match up with the previous table. Make sure hit the use table. Otherwise this, uh, otherwise this app is going to stick with the original, the default data. Now, down here below is basically this was the difference in proportions between the quarter and the nickel. So let's keep this one in mind. We'll need this in a moment. But over here on the right, uh, show shuffle options. I'll click, and now we're able to do some simulation. Let me scroll right. And they only do a thousand. Shuffle, and there are the results of a thousand of those. You know, imagine drawing, a, uh, shuffling your cards a thousand times, drawing tw uh, 19 of them, figuring out the new difference of proportions, and doing that a thousand times, and then creating a graph. You see, the computer took about a second. Last thing is we want to see greater than or equal to this 0.15 count. Now, this red line is basically that 0.15. This would be the difference between the quarter and the nickel. And then this is the probability. So 0.249 is about 25%. So essentially... This is basically like flipping two coins in terms of the probability. This re this is a result that you could expect from random chance. So you've the question, how likely could random chance explain the results we're seeing? Well, we got about 25%, so pretty likely. Okay, let's try another one. A survey of 430 randomly chosen adults found that 21% of the 222 men and 18% to the 208 women had purchased books online. And you see the results in this table. Again, 
run a thousand simulations using the Rosman chance applet, how likely could random chance explain these results? So how likely we can see that this difference between men and women, how likely could this be by random chance? So again, go back to the original table, or go back to the uh, Rossman chance app, enter the table, 47, 37, 175, and 171. Hit the use table. And I see that this difference between them whoops, was 34% or 3.4%. Okay. So I'm going to run a thousand simulations and I want to count the samples to be greater than or equal to 0 0.034. And again, it comes out to be about 24%. So likely it, the likely explanation is that these results are just random chance. About 24%, 24, 25%, that could very well be random chance.